The Dean of the College of Science has proposed a name change. The idea seems to have widespread support among colleges, faculty, and staff. The new name will be the College of Science and Engineering to reflect the expanded curriculum the unit is offering. Dr. Jatinju Tati, who has taught at Texas State since 2006, says three new engineering specializations have evolved over the years, manufacturing, industrial, and electrical. And uh, our program is becoming more and more popular, okay? and whenever we go to any conferences, you know, like six years back, the situation was uh, uh, people didn't know about uh, Texas State or okay, the engineering program. Now, you know, they know. The Texas State College of Science began offering engineering courses in 1999 with a total of 13 students enrolled. Today, more than 500 students are enrolled in what is now called the Ingram School of Engineering. The Ingram School of Engineering is located here in the MIDI complex, where engineering students have the opportunity to do hands-on research in state-of-the-art labs such as this plastics and composites lab. These large labs house intimidating contraptions that give students ample opportunity to learn about the machinery and concepts they will need in their prospective careers. Students are currently researching and experimenting with innovative concepts like nanotechnology, resin compounds, water jet lasers, and even green energy conservation techniques that will help future employers. We're a fairly new department, but obviously we're, we're making a big footprint these days. Um, you can see around you this lab has really developed a lot in the last few years, um, as, long as, or, as well as other labs in the building on this first floor of RFM. Faculty members in the Ingram School of Engineering have been engaged with their discipline by attending national conferences and reaching out to local high schools. I work with uh, Predisburg High School. Uh, they have this uh, aerospace program, okay, pretty impressive, and we are helping these high school students, you know, to build okay, these rockets, you know. So they build the rocket and they launch, you know, okay. So they, they needed some kind of a part, okay, it's a nozzle, okay. So we are making the nozzle in our lab. Engineering jobs at Texas are in demand, which means the Texas State program will likely grow. For Bobcat Update, I'm Amanda Escobedo. Texas State has taken the lead in adopting green technologies. It's been over a year since the university unveiled its Calories to Kilowatts program at the Student Recreation Center. Our Jenna Enneman is there live to tell us what it's all about. The Calories to Kilowatts initiative outfitted 30 elliptical machines to convert the kinetic energy produced during your workout into electricity. Then that electricity is recycled back into the power grid. It cost Texas State nearly $20,000 to install the re-rev system. Returns on the investment won't be seen for 8 to 10 years. But university officials say the project was not created as a cost-effective initiative, but rather to get students thinking about sustainable energy. Students are taking notice of the university's ongoing efforts to explore green technology. They really influenced the freshmen this past year because they had, a, had us read a book in our um, university seminar class about going green and I guess that is inspirational to a lot of people and the school showing that they're getting these new machines and like going with us in this like fight to go green it really shows something and I think it's a good idea. The Calories to Kilowatts program has received overwhelming support from students and some would like to see it expanded. Even if they can expand it to like the other machines like the um, stair steppers and everything like that and the treadmills, that would be something to consider for sure because then it gives you a little more variety. The university hopes to eventually retrofit all 100 of the cardio machines at the rec center with the re-rev system. The University of North Texas recently installed this same renewable energy system as Texas State. Who knows, maybe Texas State is starting a trend. Live from the Rec Center for Bobcat Update, I'm Jenna Enneman. Back to you at the studio. Having security gates and alarm systems helps some off-campus residents feel a little safer, but much more can be done. The majority of students I spoke to expressed concern over the growing theft numbers and say they'd feel more secure if apartment complexes gave them better precautionary information. Since February 28th, burglars have targeted 22 vehicles and 17 apartment complexes in San Marcos. In one case, an intruder allegedly entered an unlocked female's apartment at the zone and physically assaulted her. Some residents at Villaggio, a nearby apartment complex, says the crimes have hit too close to home. Stuff like that is never good to hear because it's a college environment, a bunch of young girls, you know. Just not, not, it's a little unsettling. Managers of the Bellagio apartments say they've taken measures to help their students feel safe. 
Days after the incident, they sent out an email to the complex with information about the recent break-ins and what students can do to help prevent similar situations from happening. Maybe, you know, they lock the door, the gates at night, maybe, you know, during the day they could probably start doing it, but other than that, I think they do what they can. One target for thieves occurs when people leave their valuables in plain sight. A few apartments down 35 that have had a few break-ins and even their whole car been stolen. Police recommend that you keep your apartment and car doors locked and valuables hidden, and they ask you to call 911 if any suspicious behavior is observed. For Bobcat Update, I'm Kaylee Pfeifferling. Texas State Athletics is getting another big boost to its facilities. Construction has begun on the new track and field complex, which should be completed before the 2012 season. The current home for the track and field team is Bobcat Stadium, but plans have been, been approved to remove the existing track. The new track and field facility will seat 1,000 people and have throwing rings as well as a pole vault pit. The eight-lane track will meet all NCAA regulations for Division I athletics. San Marcos is known for its rolling river and beautiful hill country scenery, and sustaining our community has been an important responsibility for students, faculty, and San Marcos residents. Each school year, a different common experience theme is designated by the University Honors Program. The theme this year is sustainability. The way that students have come up with ideas on their own has been my favorite. There's a, a group working on water, water aid, that I don't even really know these students, but I get emails from them, and they're doing various projects. Among the environmental projects on campus is a living library, a garden located between the Agriculture Building and Heinz. The living library has a fruit, vegetable, and herb garden nurtured by students. It is called the Food for Thought Garden. A rainwater collection tank has even been installed in the living library to help minimize water usage and costs on campus. A composting operation known as Bobcat Blend has been introduced by the Department of Agriculture. Students are encouraged to divide their compost into food waste, plastic, and paper. Likewise, recycling receptacles are located in several locations on campus, and the Texas State Recycling Center has made an immense impact on recycling services for students and staff. We also do waste management, and we try to minimize as much as possible waste on campus because we're, you know, headed towards sustainability. That's been our whole theme this whole entire year. Texas State organizations also encourage students to ride their bikes to school rather than drive. The annual Bike to School Day is celebrated each Earth Day. Many students participate in this event, and free bike tune-ups and t-shirts are offered in the quad. Find out more about how you can help maintain our home at the Common Experience link on the Texas State website. For Bobcat Update, I'm Claire Hugo.